Hello everyone and welcome to your weekend reading. So this reading is going to be for the weekend of September 10th all the way to September 12th, 2021. I have linked the uh, timestamps in the description box down below. So just click on the description box and you'll see the timestamps linked down below. But without any further ado, let's get started. Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekend reading. Let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. For Sagittarius, Summon Rising, and Venus. We got two cards that wanted to come out here for you. So we do have Release Your Ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then we also have It's Safe for You to Love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right. We're going to focus on you first. And then we'll jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And then towards the end, I'll pull the outcome. But we'll see why you're getting these two cards and how it resonates with your weekend reading. What's going on with Sagittarius for this weekend? We got the Eight of Cups, we have the Hermit, and we have the Two of Swords. Okay, what's going on with the person Sagittarius is connecting with, or will be connecting with? We got the Two of Wands, we also have the Knight of Cups, and then we have the Sun. Okay, what's the outcome between... Sagittarius and whoever Sagittarius is connecting with or will be connecting with. Okay. We have Temperance. We also have the Page of Pentacles. Can you see that? Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles and then we also have Strength. All right, let's focus on you first, Sag. Now, it kind of looks like for the most part, when it comes down to release your ex, I kind of feel like someone else had a similar reading to this. I can't remember who it was though. Um, it kind of looks like you're very, very closed off towards someone here. Now, currently at the moment, I do see you not only very closed off towards this person, but I also kind of see you kind of pushing this person away at the same exact time. So pushing them away, being very closed off um, towards this person in particular. Now, whoever this person is, I feel like this is somebody who is trying to get your attention here because this is somebody who does, you know, want to essentially pursue you in a romantic relationship with you but it kind of looks like for this for the most part this person has a very difficult time making this happen here between you and them and it's mainly kind of coming from a place of you being extremely closed off towards this person in particular um like i said i feel like this person is trying i do i feel like this person is trying their hardest to get close to you i feel like this person is trying to essentially get you to see that they do have feelings for you and that they do want to pursue a happily ever after with you but they feel kind of stuck at the same time mainly because you're not reciprocating that energy back in return Sagittarius you're being very very closed off towards this person but I feel like that is going to essentially change I think that you're going to start to learn to be a little bit more open to the possibilities when it comes down to you and this person in particular and you're also going to essentially learn how to just go with the flow here when it comes down to whoever this person is that's trying to get your attention and trying to pursue a romantic relationship with you now for a lot of you the main reason why you're essentially closed off towards this person is possibly because of things of the past um, maybe you essentially feel like you know everyone's the same nobody has your best interests at heart um, things of that nature now if that's what's basically kind of stopping a lot of you from being open to this person you need to start changing the way that you think if you think that all men are dogs you're gonna meet every single one of them if you think all women are beeps you're gonna meet every single one of them so if that's really stopping you from being open to this person in particular learn how to change the way you think so that way you're not attracting you know the wrong people you know towards you all right so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whatever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye hello leo and welcome to your weekend reading let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend for leo summon rising and venus leo you have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you see all right Leo, we're going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with, and then towards the end, I'll pull the outcome. But let's start off with you first. What's going on with Leo for this weekend? We got the Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Moon. And then we have the Five of Swords. Okay. What's going on with the person that you guys connect with or will be connecting with? 
We got the devil. Okay. We also have the... Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles. And then we also have the Emperor. Okay. Hmm. All right. What's the outcome between Leo and the person Leo is connecting with or will be connecting with? We have the Three of Swords. We also have the Sun. And then we have the King of Cups. Oh, man. When it comes down to the person that you're connecting with, um... It's, it's, a, it's a tough energy to work with. Uh, I, I will say that. Um, all right, let's... I kind of want to focus on them first, actually, so that way the reading in itself flows. Leo, still keep in mind that you might resonate more so with the person on the second row than you do with the person on the top row, okay? So in reference to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with, I feel like this person is being extremely selfish with their energy as of right now. It kind of looks like right now this person is very focused on themselves and their material world. I just kind of feel like you're dealing with somebody who's being very, very, very selfish uh, with their energy as of right now so much to the point where I do feel like this person is essentially pushing you away now with all of that being said man I just feel like this is like a very tough energy to work with um because this is somebody who kind of refuses to change their ways is the best way that I can kind of describe it um so when it comes down to this person right it kind of looks like there was some sort of fight, argument, or disagreement that may have transpired here between you and this person. Mainly a misunderstanding for a lot of you. But it kind of looks like you want to address this issue here between you and this person. But man, when it comes down to the person that you're dealing with. Hmm. It's tough. It's tough because of... Um, ugh, it's just tough. This is the best way that I can kind of describe it. I feel like... Uh, this, this is somebody who's very, very hard to work with. And then on top of that, you're showing up as a king of cups. So we got two masculine energies out here. Now, it doesn't mean that the, this, this has everything to do with two men. It can have everything to do with two women, two men, a man and a woman. It doesn't matter. It's just the energy alone, okay? I mean, uh, this is somebody who's very difficult to work with. Um, and this is somebody who refuses to change their ways. They, they refuse to change their ways to kind of compromise and work things out with you. This is somebody who's very fixated in their way of being. Um, so with that being said, yes, Leo, I do see you coming in trying to fix things here between you and them. Trying to get this person to essentially see your point of view and where you're coming from. And I totally see see it i see where you're coming from i can definitely see things from your perspective but it's, it's very hard to get this person to essentially see things you know from your perspective because of the person that you're dealing with i mean this is somebody man that they refuse to change their ways uh they refuse to budge they refuse to work with you they also kind of give me this vibe of you know um nobody can tell me nothing you know like I don't care what you have to say, like, I'm gonna be me, you know, regardless if you like it or not, like, tough, tough individual to work with. This is tough, man, I don't know who, who you're dealing with, but tough, a very, very tough person to work with, that's for sure, because this is somebody who refuses to change their ways, this is also somebody who does not like, um, you know, when people tell them what to do, they don't like it, they do not like it. Um, this person might even, for a lot of you, this person might even own their own business. Um, I just kind of feel like this person doesn't really work well with others is the best way I can describe it. And especially because you're kind of coming in here, Leo, you know, trying to kind of get this person to see where they went wrong and, and they're not, they're, no, 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 they're not going to hear it. You see what I'm saying? They're not, they're not going to hear it. They're not going to hear it. They, they don't want to see things from your perspective. They don't want to see how you got hurt, you know, and all of that. They're not going to see it. You know, they're just not going to see it. This is a tough cookie to essentially work with. I don't know who this person is, but they're tough to work with. And I can see you really, really trying to figure out a way to make this work, man. But I feel like the person that you're dealing with, man, this is somebody who refuses to change their ways. It's it's kind of like an energy of if you don't like it, you can you, you there's a door. If you don't like it, there's a door, you know, cuz they're not going to change for absolutely anybody.
So yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I feel like you really do love this person. I do. I do. I feel like you really, really do love this person, Leo. I feel like you really do want to work things out, you know, but the truth is the truth, man. I feel like this is what, you know, you're working with. This is somebody who refuses to change. You can't tell this person shit. Like, you can't. You know, you can't because they're going to take it. You know, you're coming in like, well, I just want you to understand. I just want you to see, like, you did this and you did... They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They, to them, it's like, I don't got time for that, you know? Tough person to deal with. Very tough to deal with. This person might even be older than you. Like I said, I see you coming in trying to do the right thing, but they don't want to hear it. They really don't want to hear it. They don't. Yeah, so then there's that, Leo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Aries, and welcome to your weekend reading. Let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. For Aries, someone rising and Venus. Aries, you do have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. All right, let's see what's going on. We're going to focus on you first, Aries, and then we're going to jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend, and then I'll pull the outcome between the two of you. What's going on with Aries? Okay. We have Strength. We have the Page of Cups. And then we also have the Four of Cups. All right. What's uh, going on with the person Aries is connecting with or will be connecting with? We have the Two of Pentacles, we have Justice, and then we also have the Nine of Swords. All right, let's see the outcome between Aries and the person Aries is connecting with or will be connecting with. We have the Nine of Cups, we also have the Page of Pentacles. All right, and then we have the Star. Hmm, okay. Let's focus on you first, Aries, and then we'll jump over to the person that you're connecting with. Aries, you're kind of coming in with this energy of kind of holding back. I feel like there's someone here that you want to open up lines of communication with. There's obviously somebody that you want to extend yourself to, but I feel like you're holding back out of a place of, well, what if they don't want to talk to me? What if they want nothing to do with me? Um, sort of energy. Now, it's interesting because when it comes down to the person that you're connecting with, kind of looks like they, this person wants to essentially make things right with you um but they're not essentially sure how to approach this whole situation here between you and them that's the problem okay is that it kind of looks like as much as this person wants to make things right with you they don't necessarily know how to even approach you so clearly it looks like something happened here right whether it was like a fight argument disagreement misunderstanding breakup separation um, it just kind of looks like there's two people here that want to essentially open up lines of communication with one another. The problem is for this person, they don't really know how to approach you or the situation. They don't know how to really make things right here between you and them. You could be dealing with an Aquarius because Aquarius has something similar um, to this message that I'm currently giving you. But again, you want to extend yourself to them, but I feel like you're holding back because, man, what if this person wants nothing to do with me? And I kind of feel like what's also causing you to essentially feel this way is because I don't necessarily feel like this person has extended themselves to you whatsoever, which is kind of furthermore causing you to essentially feel like this person wants nothing to do with you. But as far as the outcome is concerned, Aries, I do see you extending yourself to this person and definitely hoping for the best uh, in this situation because it's one of those situations, Aries, where, um, you know, you rather deal with oh wells than what if. You know, you don't want to sit there, you know, thinking, man, what if I extended myself to this person? I wonder if, you know, we could have worked things out, you know, things like that. So trust me when I tell you, you rather deal with oh wells than what ifs. And with that being said, I do see you extending yourself to this person, definitely hoping for the best potential outcome, obviously. Um, but if it does, if it does go left, if it turns out that this person wants nothing to do with you, I see you essentially accepting that reality. 
Um, but again, I don't necessarily feel like we're dealing with somebody who doesn't want anything to do with you. I just feel like we're dealing with somebody who doesn't know how to approach you or handle this whole situation here between you and them. So towards the end, I see you extending yourself to this person here. Um, again, hoping for the best, but if things go south, then it goes south, you know. But at least you won't be dealing with the uh, what if, you know, uh, problem here. Because again, if, if you extend yourself to this person, this person wants nothing to do with you, then at least you know that, okay, well, at least I tried. At least I tried to make things right and clearly they don't want, you know, to make things right with me and that's okay. Um, but like I said, trust me, you'd rather do it oh wells than what ifs, all right? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your weekend reading. Let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. For Cancer. Okay, that was quick. We have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, we're going to focus on you first, Cancer, and then we're going to jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend, and then I'll pull the outcome between the two of you. What's going on with Cancer for this weekend? Is that the Hierophant that I saw? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh yeah, it is. We have the Hierophant, and then we have the Nine of Cups. Very nice. Um, how does this, I mean, what's going on with the person Cancer's connecting with or will be connecting with? We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. And then we have the Emperor. Okay. What's the outcome between Cancer and the person Cancer is connecting with or will be connecting with? Okay, we have the uh, Four of Swords. We also have the Four of Wands. And then we have the Three of Cups. Very nice. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Cups. Okay, I want to focus on you first. You're sitting in really good energy, Cancer, um, for this weekend. With the hair font being out here, I kind of feel like a lot of you are taking time out to really work on your spirituality um, and connect to your higher self. But as of right now, I don't necessarily see you attached to anyone. Kind of looks like this weekend is all about you and kind of focusing on you and practicing self-love uh, and focusing on your overall independence and possibly even your material world. But you're sitting in really good energy cancer for this weekend. Now, when it comes down to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with, I'm not sure who this person is, uh, to be totally honest. This could be somebody that you were once upon a time romantically involved with. They're showing up in your in your reading, obviously, for this weekend for a reason. Um, I still kind of see this person kind of lingering around in the background here. So as you're kind of off cancer doing your own thing, you do have somebody kind of lingering in the background just a little bit. Kind of looks like this person um, has a hard time walking away from you and what they once upon a time had with you. But I don't necessarily see this person bothering you or approaching you this weekend whatsoever. I just see them kind of lingering in the background, so to speak. But when it comes down to your outcome here we have the ace of cups here at the bottom of the deck so for some of you you could very well be meeting someone new cancer this weekend and it kind of looks like for the most part you and this person are going to have a lot in common. So with all of that being said, it kind of looks like the two of you are going to instantly hit it off. I think that you're going to feel really good about your relationship with this person in particular. Um, so with all of that being said, I, I kind of see you meeting someone new, Cancer, and the both of you are going to definitely hit it off. Um, now, even though currently at the moment, Cancer, you may not be in any sort of committed relationship as of right now, Here's the thing with you, Cancer. I feel like you want to be in a committed relationship. I just don't see you actively pursuing love right now. It kind of looks like right now you're very committed to yourself, which, dude, it's not a bad thing whatsoever. But you do have someone entering your life. Now, this is somebody who, for the most part, is going to want to pursue a romantic relationship with you. Now, whether or not you choose to kind of reciprocate that energy back in return, that's entirely up to you. But right now, I see you very devoted and committed to yourself um, and you're going to have somebody who's going to essentially come in and want to pursue a romantic relationship um, with you so with all of that being said whether or not you decide to kind of go after it 
I think that that's entirely up to you. Um, but outside of that, whoever this person is, yes, they're lingering, you know, in the background, but I don't see this person bothering you whatsoever. I see them kind of keeping their distance from you. Um, but you got someone new coming in, all right? So with that being said, hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. For Pisces, Sun Rising and Venus. Pisces, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right. Let's see you, Pisces. All right, let's focus on you first, Pisces. Then we'll jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And then towards the end, I'll pull the outcome. What's going on with Pisces for this weekend? Okay, we have the world. We also have the king of swords. And then we have the knight of cups. I actually want to keep the eight of swords out. What's going on with the person Pisces is connecting with or will be connecting with? We have strength. Okay, wait, my hair. Okay, we have strength. We also have the Queen of Swords. True pair situation, by the way, between you and this person. And then we also have the Four of Pentacles. I see. Okay. All right. Okay. What's the outcome between Pisces and the person Pisces is connecting with? We have the Three of Swords. We got a Queen of Pentacles here, and then we also have the Two of Cups. All right. All right. Um, who do I want to start off with? Let's start off with you first, Pisces. And still keep in mind the energies could totally be vice versa. You have the world with the King of Swords and the Knight of Cups, and then you also have the Eight of Swords. Now, the reason why I kept the Eight of Swords is because it kind of looks like, for the most part, Pisces, there's a level of overthinking when it comes down to pursuing someone that you feel a very strong and intense connection to. Now, I see you getting over this. I see you getting out of this energy. I see you getting out of this energy of overthinking things, right? So with that being said, I feel like it's actually helping the situation between you and this person because whoever it is that you're connecting with, whoever this Queen of Swords is slash Queen of Pentacles, mind you, I kind of like this person, to be totally honest. Granted, we'll get a little bit more deep into this person, but whoever this person is, is somebody who's very career oriented. This is somebody who's very smart. This is somebody who's very educated. This is somebody who has class is almost what I want to say. But either which way, um, it kind of looks like there's a whole lot of stagnancy here happening between you and this person. I see you coming in and basically kind of breaking the ice here because in order to go off and pursue absolutely anything with this person, we need to kind of get this ball rolling here, right? Between you and them. And I see you doing that. So I do see you approaching this person offering this person love and opening yourself up to your relationship with this person in particular because I feel like this is somebody that you do feel a very strong and intense connection to I do feel like you have emotions for this person but sitting there overthinking it is not gonna help the situation especially because of the person you're dealing with with strength being out here and the four of Pentacles alone this is somebody who is very, very closed off. This is somebody who is basically protecting their heart at all costs. So granted, does this person feel a very strong and intense connection to you? Absolutely. But I feel like this person is very determined to protect their heart at all costs because their biggest fear when it comes down to opening themselves up to you and this relationship with you is the thought of it backfiring in their face, is the thought of it essentially bringing them pain. But with that being said, I do see this person slowly but surely opening their selves up to the relationship that they share with you, mainly because of the simple fact that you're making this first move in their direction to get this ball rolling. So sometimes it takes one to inspire the other. Because this person sees that you're very open to them and the possibilities when it comes down to you and them, it's actually inspiring this person to be open to you. That's not going to cause them to not think about the pain that you could possibly cause them later on down the line, not saying that you're going to, hopefully you don't, but it's not going to cause this person to forget that they are putting themselves in that position to get hurt by opening themselves up to you, but 
it's a step in the right direction is basically what I'm saying because I do see them being more open to you and what they could have with you just be consciously aware that this person is afraid that you're going to essentially hurt them okay I don't necessarily see you having any sort of malicious intentions towards this person whatsoever there's just something to be consciously aware of that this person is afraid to open themselves up fully to you and this relationship with you out of fear that it's going to backfire in their face or that you're going to cause them you know pain like I said it kind of looks like you have really good intentions when it comes down to this person. So just be a little bit patient with this person. I do see this person opening up to you and the possibilities when it comes down to you and them. But just be a little bit patient with this person. Because um, eventually they'll come around. Eventually they'll, they'll you know, open themselves up to you and their relationship with you. Because they feel really good about you. And that's besides the point. There's just a whole lot of fear that this person has. But I feel like eventually it'll dissipate the more the two of you interact with one another the more the two of you spend time with one another this person will learn to essentially realize that you definitely do have their best interests at heart but with all of that being said it looks pretty good here between you and this person for this weekend so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye Hello Scorpio and welcome to your weekend reading. Let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. I'm going to focus on you first and then I'll jump over to the person that you're connecting with and then towards the end I'll pull the outcome but let's get started. All right what's going on with Scorpio for this weekend? Scorpio you had two cards I wanted to come out. I'm going to go ahead and take it. We have soulmate. Yes this is your soulmate and then we also have trust. The situation's calling for you to have faith. All right. What's going on with Scorpio for this weekend? We have the Nine of Cups. We also have the Hermit. Very nice. Very nice. With death. Could be dealing with a Virgo, possibly another Scorpio, maybe even a Pisces. What's going on with the person Scorpio is connecting with? Okay. We got the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the High Priestess. And then we have the Nine of wands okay what's the outcome between scorpio and the person scorpio is connecting with wow we have the world we also have the lovers and now we have the king of cups scorpio you might want to check out your reading that i did for you because i kind of feel like it kind of ties into the reading that I actually did for you. But either which way, let's kind of focus on you first. So you have the Nine of Cups with the Hermit, and we also have Death. Currently at the moment, Scorpio, for this weekend, I see you focusing more so on yourself and practicing a whole lot of self-love. Currently at the moment, I don't necessarily see you attached to anyone. So you're kind of giving me this impression that you're single, okay? Now, with all of that being said, I just kind of feel like you're going through a massive transformation. You're learning to kind of put yourself on that pedestal and put yourself first and practice a whole lot of self-love but we have someone here and I feel like this person is someone brand new that's heading in your direction this weekend it might either this weekend or sometime next week um, but you do have someone here who wants to approach you I do feel like this person is a little bit nervous possibly even shy um, to essentially approach you but you do have someone here that's very very interested in you to say the least Scorpio but I just kind of feel like this person is a little bit nervous to essentially approach you but this is somebody who's very interested in you now as far as your outcome is concerned I do see this person getting over this fear that they have as far as approaching you is concerned because this is somebody for the most part who would like to essentially establish a brand new beginning with you now whoever this person is granted are they a little bit shy yes uh, they might even feel a little bit insecure within themselves um, and they might even suffer from anxiety but outside of that I do feel like this is somebody who's highly intuitive somebody who's very mature especially emotionally mature this is somebody who's not gonna have a problem with expressing you know uh, how they feel about you or showing you love things of that nature but 
towards the end of all of this, I see this person getting over this fear that they have as far as approaching you is concerned. And I kind of feel like for the most part, whoever this person is, this is somebody who's going to essentially feel a very strong and intense connection towards you, okay? Um, so like I said, I do feel like you have someone new entering your life. Scorpio, like I said, this is somebody who's very emotionally mature. This is somebody who, granted, they may not feel 100% secure within themselves. They might even suffer from anxiety. This person might even be a little bit shy slash reserved. So this is somebody who, again, comes off to me as like a like a bit of a loner. But to be totally honest, I'd rather you be with a loner than to, to be with somebody who's running around in the streets, okay? Um, so with that being said, I feel like you have someone really good heading in your direction. Granted, I mean... Uh, that you know we all got our shit that's besides the point um but i feel like i feel like whoever's heading in your direction they, they seem to be a very very good person i just kind of feel like this is somebody who's extremely shy slash insecure within themselves but outside of that scorpio i like the human that's heading in your direction all right so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye hello libra and welcome to your weekend reading let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend for libra summon rising and venus all right we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings all right let's see what's going on we're going to focus on you first, Libra, and then we'll jump over to them. And then I'll pull the outcome between the two of you. What's going on with Libra for this weekend? We have the Queen of Wands. Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles. And then we also have the World. What's going on with the person Libra is connecting with or will be connecting with? We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands. Interesting. With the Five of Wands. All right. Let's see outcome between Libra and the person Libra is connecting with or will be connecting with. Hmm. Okay. We have the Star. We also have the Eight of Wands. And now we have the uh, Knight of swords you know what i love libras i don't know i always learn something from from a libra reading to be totally honest and it kind of looks like this is another learning lesson for me now when it comes down to you libra i feel like you've grown and evolved as a person um you're also learning something very very important uh this weekend you're learning the value of letting things that no longer serve you go all right and with that being said i feel like because you're learning this valuable lesson here, you are getting rid of the people that no longer serve you, whether it's family members, friends, even lovers, right? So with that being said, I see you growing and evolving as a person, okay? The main lesson that you're learning is to remove yourself from people that no longer serve your highest good, and that's exactly what you're doing. And get ready because you're gonna piss a lot of people off. We have the Four of Pentacles with the Three of Wands and the Five of Wands. As you're choosing to grow and evolve as a person, as you're realizing that certain people that you essentially surround yourself with don't necessarily serve your highest good anymore, it kind of looks like it kind of looks like someone or a group of people feel some type of way about that, especially because, you know, it's pretty obvious that you're pushing a lot of people away, but for good reason. These people don't essentially serve your highest good anymore. It doesn't mean that these are bad people, Libra. It just means that they don't serve your highest good anymore, right? You're ready to grow and evolve as a person. So like I said, you do have someone here or a group of people that are not very happy with you, Libra. They're not. Uh, they don't necessarily feel like it's fair that you're pushing them away whatsoever. And there's a whole lot that this person and or people want to say to you. So some of them are just going to choose to kind of keep quiet and let you do your thing and keep their distance from you. And others are going to essentially give you a piece of their mind because they don't necessarily feel like it is fair uh, that you're choosing to kind of remove yourself, you know, out of their lives. One thing to take notice is the obvious, right? The Four of Pentacles being out here and the Three of Wands being out here. It's not a judgmental thing. It just is what it is. Whoever these people are, whether it be family members, friends, ex-lovers, it doesn't really matter who these people are or who this person is. Um, it kind of looks like 
they're very stuck and stagnant uh, within their own personal life. And it kind of looks like you want to grow and expand and evolve as a person and to surround yourself with people who rather sit there and just complain about life and how this is not fair and et cetera, et cetera. You're growing and evolving as a person. You're leveling up, right? And these people are going to you know, you're going to find these people in the same place that you left them is basically what I'm saying. So I don't necessarily feel like you're making the wrong decision by putting yourself first and, you know, removing yourself from people that just don't serve your highest good, Libra. Um, and like I said, they're going to be pissed off, but I don't really see them wanting to essentially grow and expand or evolve. I don't. And I feel like these people are going to essentially weigh you down. And again, these people could be family members. It could be friends. It could be your freaking neighbor for all I know or the cat down the road. Regardless, you're getting rid of these people or this person and they're going to feel some type of way. But if it's one thing that I will say is that where you decide to leave these people is where they're going to stay. All right. And as you continue to grow and evolve, because that's what you're doing here, you're growing and evolving as a person and it's taking you to wonderful places. So why? So while these people or this person sitting there complaining, it's not fair, why are you doing this to me, Libra? You're making moves and you're heading in the right direction, okay? So with all that being said, you're making the right decision, Libra, by removing yourself from these people because once you do, man, it's like you're gonna feel like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders, to be totally honest, and you're gonna feel more free and you're gonna start to see growth and expansion um, happen all around you all right so this decision that you're choosing to make is is a really really good decision Libra all right so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and I will see you guys in your next reading bye hello Gemini and welcome to your weekend reading let's see what's going on with you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend for Gemini, Summon Rising, and Venus. Gemini, we do have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. All right, let's focus on you first, Gemini, and then we'll jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with, and then I'll pull the outcome between the two of you. But let's focus on you first. What's going on with Gemini for this weekend? We have the world. We also have the Page of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Swords. All right. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, possibly a Virgo. What's going on with the person Gemini's connecting with or will be connecting with? We have the Two of Swords. We also have the Page of Wands. And then we have the Sun. What's the outcome between Gemini and the person Gemini's connecting with or will be connecting with? We got the Nine of Wands. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, and then we have the Queen of Wands. All right, let's talk about it. Now, in reference to you, Gemini, it kind of looks like uh, this is one of those situations where you're possibly in search for closure here between you and another person. I feel like the person that you're seeking closure from is this Queen of Wands, whoever this Queen of Wands is. Now, it kind of looks like in attempt to seek for closure here between you and this person it kind of looks like this person is choosing to kind of shut you out um, but it's mainly coming from a place gemini of them wanting to essentially kind of get back to a place of feeling good about themselves all over again especially because with the world being out here there was obviously an ending here that took place between you and this person and it kind of looks like this person doesn't really want to sit here and talk to you uh whatsoever it kind of looks like this person is just kind of practicing the whole out of sight out of mind um strategy here when it comes down to you so if they're not talking to you they're not thinking about you um if they're not looking for you they don't know what you're up to you know it's like they're just practicing the whole out of sight out of mind um and again it's coming from a place of them wanting to kind of get over this ending here that transpired between you and them and they don't necessarily feel like interacting with you or talking to you or even talking about how things came to an end and is going to essentially benefit them in any way shape or form they feel like if anything is going to keep them stuck um and kind of dwelling on the ending of it all see what i'm saying 
Um, and keep in mind, this could totally be vice versa, Gemini, where there's somebody reaching out to you for closure and it kind of looks like you don't really want to talk to them or uh, continue to interact with them because you essentially feel like it's not going to essentially benefit you or help you in any way, shape or form get over this person and move past this and get back to a place of, of feeling good about yourself all over again. Um, but with this person um, extending themselves to you, Gemini, I kind of feel like for the most part, you're not going to essentially interact with them at all. And like I said, this could be you, you know, extending yourself to someone here and someone's choosing to not interact with you based off of, I don't want to keep talking to Gemini because if I keep talking to Gemini, I'm going to keep dwelling on you know, what Gemini and I had. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to cause them to essentially feel like they're still stuck in this vicious cycle um, with you. And it kind of looks like when things did came to an end, Gemini, between you and this person, I don't necessarily feel like this person took it that well uh, whatsoever. I feel like it did cause them a lot of pain. But right now, this person's focusing more so on getting back to a place of overcoming this ending that has transpired here especially because i feel like it did take a massive toll on this person all right so with all of that being said gemini hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend and i will see you guys in your next reading bye hello aquarius let's see what's going on for you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend for aquarius <clears throat> Aquarius, we do have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. All right. You could be dealing with a Taurus specifically. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case. All right. We're going to focus on you first, Aquarius, and then we're going to jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with, and then I'll pull the outcome between the two of you. But let's focus on you first. What's going on with Aquarius for this weekend? Okay. We have the Seven of Wands. We got the Eight of Cups. Okay. And we have the Seven of Cups. All right. What's going on with the person Aquarius is connecting with or will be connecting with? We have the Seven of Swords for them. We also have the Tower. What else? And then we have the Hermit. What's the outcome between Aquarius and the person Aquarius is connecting with or will be connecting with? We have the Page of Swords. We also have the Nine of Swords. And then we also have the Ace of Cups. All right. I kind of want to focus on this person first, Aquarius, and then we'll jump over to you. Still keep in mind, uh, you might resonate more so with the person uh, on the second row than you do with the person on the top row. All right. So just uh, be mindful of that. But I want to start off with them first, so that way the reading in itself flows. The person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with, they have the Hermit. They also have the Seven of Swords uh, and the Tower. I do feel like this person is intentionally avoiding you slash keeping their distance from you. Um, and I kind of feel like this person's kind of pulling away from you out of the blue. Okay, I don't necessarily feel like this person is telling you why they're choosing to walk away from you or distance themselves from you. It just kind of looks like they're doing it okay now with all of that being said I feel like it's leaving you uh, essentially feeling really conflicted and really confused as to why this person is choosing to essentially walk away from you without any sort of explanation it kind of looks like they're just choosing to kind of remove themselves from you and, and not really say anything to you so you might be experiencing you know this person basically flat out ghosting you but towards the end, um, Aquarius, it kind of looks like you're under this impression that, you know, maybe this person's kind of pulling away from you and keeping their distance from you because there's someone else uh, in the picture here. I can tell that you're already confused and I feel like you're really stressing over this whole situation because you just want to understand why this person is, is choosing to just walk away from you. Um, so I want to see why that is. I'm going to go ahead and clarify um, because it kind of looks like you're just really consumed by, but why is this person doing this? I don't understand. You know, it just looks like this whole situation is really stressing you out and confusing you and you want answers. But the problem is that this person's not giving you any sort of answer. So let's, let's, let's kind of look into it. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups that wanted to come out for this person, but tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Here. 
We have Justice. We also have the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. And then we have the Nine of Cups. I'm wondering, Aquarius, if there was uh, some sort of fire argument that transpired here between you and this person in particular. Because I feel like this person is kind of under this impression that, well, if Aquarius wants to, to make things right um, w w with me, they need to essentially approach me and make things right with me is kind of how they're looking at this whole situation here between you and them because uh, as far as from what i can tell i feel like this person has no problems with you they don't have no problems with coming together with you and you know working things out with you but they're kind of looking at this whole situation like you know what if aquarius wants to make things right with me they need to approach me and make things right with me because it kind of looks like, you know, they have no sort of intentions of making things right with you at all. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering if there was like a big fight slash argument that may have transpired here between you and this person uh, that caused this person to, you know, say, you know what, that's it. I'm out. I'm walking away from this whole situation. I'm not going to deal with it anymore. I wonder if maybe that's what happened here between you and this person, Aquarius, because it's not like this person doesn't want to work things out with you. They just want you to essentially approach them and make things right with them. Um, because as far as they're concerned, as far as dis distancing themselves from you and keeping, you know, or I'm sorry, giving you the silent treatment, they feel like you deserve that um, from them for whatever reason. And I kind of feel like it's because there was some sort of argument that happened here between you and this person. All right. But like I said, the opportunity to come in and, and make things right between you and this person, it kind of looks like, you know, the door is definitely open for you. Um, but they don't necessarily feel like they're doing anything wrong by walking away from you and keeping their distance from you. They just kind of feel like you need to be the one to essentially approach them and make things right with them. Um, but they're not going to make things right with you whatsoever. They don't feel like they're doing anything wrong. So just kind of think back. Because I can see that you're a little bit confused. Think back on what led to this tower moment here between you and them. Um, basically, retrace your steps, okay? Because um, I don't necessarily see this person currently attached to anyone. So I don't think that this person left you to go be with someone else is basically what I'm saying. And it kind of looks like you're probably thinking maybe it's because there's someone else, you know? I don't necessarily feel like there's anyone else. I think that you need to kind of retrace your steps and figure out, okay, what causes tower moment to begin with between you and them? Because they're looking at this whole situation between you and them like, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Um, they don't feel like they did anything wrong. They don't. And they feel like if you honestly want to work things out with them, that you need to essentially approach them and be serious about honestly working things out with them. But it kind of looks like you're jumping to conclusions here. And maybe that's kind of adding fuel to the fire just a little bit, Aquarius, because you're jumping to these conclusions about this person. You know, maybe it's because of this, you know, or maybe, maybe there's someone else. I don't feel like there's anybody else. Um, I don't. And like I said, the opportunity to come together with this person and work things out, they're open to that. But don't jump to conclusions. Don't make assumptions, basically. Um, because this person's all for willing to essentially work with you. I don't see them being against coming together and working things out with you and settling things with you. But they don't feel like they have to be the one to approach you and, and, and do that. They feel like you have to do that. Make sense? All right. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your weekend reading. Let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. For Virgo, Summon Rising, and Venus. Virgo, we do have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. All right, we'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your weekend reading. But we are going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. And then towards the end, I'll pull some advice. What's going on with Virgo for this weekend? Ooh, so far so good. We have the lovers. We have the ten of cups. Okay. And then we have the nine of swords. What's going on with the Virgo? Uh, with the Virgo? What's going on with the person Virgo's connecting with or will be connecting with? We got the two of cups. Then we also have the high priestess. And then we have the eight of pentacles. 
what's the outcome between Virgo and the person Virgo is connecting with or will be connecting with? Okay. You got the Five of Cups. We also have the World. And then we have the Six of Wands. All right. I'm not mad at the outcome here. All right, Virgo. Let's focus on you first. Virgo, it looks like love is showing up here for you this weekend. And even though there's an energy of you essentially feeling good, about your relationship with this person and how things are essentially unfolding here between you and this person in particular, um, there's a level of overthinking. There's a level of fear um, attached to you. And I feel like that has more to do with your past and very little to do with the person that you're going to essentially be connecting with um, for this weekend. Like I said, you know, this energy of, of fear, this energy of feeling like you can't fully embrace this connection is coming more so from a place of, you know, relationships that you've experienced prior to this person, okay? Because when it comes down to whoever it is that you're connecting with, uh, Virgo, this is somebody who really does want to work towards a relationship with you. This is somebody who on an intuitive level feels really good about you, Um and unfortunately, because you're having a little bit of a difficult time, Virgo, fully embracing this connection here, there's an energy of you kind of being extremely guarded and, and defensive uh, towards this person just a little bit. But I feel like this has more to do with things that you've experienced in the past more than anything, okay? Now, like I said, whoever it is that you're connecting with, this is somebody who is willing to put in the work here when it comes down to you. And I feel like you know that, and this is why you mainly feel really good about your relationship. But this whole nine of swords, I don't know if I can do this, that has more to do with you and very little to do with the person that uh, you could essentially establish a beautiful relationship with, all right? But towards the end, I do see you essentially realizing, Virgo, that you could very well be self-sabotaging a really good thing because of this mentality that you have that I'm not ready and, I don't trust this person. I don't know if I can do this, you know. I think that you're going to come to terms with the fact that, you know, you are allowing things of the past to stop you from pursuing something that could lead to something long term between you and this person. I see you overcoming that, which is uh, a really, really good sign, Virgo. So currently at the moment, you may not, you know, feel 100% confident within yourself when it comes down to embracing your relationship with this person, but that will pass. That's besides the point, because I do see you overcoming this um, whole situation and not allowing fear and anxiety and you comparing this person to people that you've experienced in the past to really get in your way of embracing this connection that... Uh, you could very well have with this person in particular. So if you find yourself questioning your connection with this person, if you find yourself living in fear, if you find yourself feeling the need that you have to hold back and not embrace this whole entire situation here between you and them, I see you overcoming that. And I see you learning to embrace what you currently have in front of you because what you currently have in front of you is a good thing, Virgo, all right? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. For Capricorn, Someone Rising, and Venus. All right, let's see. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. For some of you, you can be connected with a Libra. Specifically, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case, of course. I'm going to focus on you first, and I'll jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with, and then I'll pull the outcome between the two of you. What's going on with Capricorn for this weekend? Okay, we have the Page of Cups. We also have the Four of Pentacles, and then we have the King of Wands. What's going on with the person Capricorn is connecting with or will be connecting with? We got the Three of Pentacles. We also have the Sun. Okay. And then we have the High Priestess. All right. What's the outcome between Capricorn and the person Capricorn is connecting with or will be connecting with? We have Death. We also have the Emperor. And then we have the Nine of Wands. All right, Capricorn. 
I almost want to kind of start off with this person, Capricorn, that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. And then I'll, I'll jump over to you so that way the reading in itself flows. Capricorn, it looks like you have someone here that's trying to get close to you and interact with you. Um, now, whoever this person is, I do feel like this is somebody um, who really, really does want to work towards some sort of partnership with you, whether it's in the realm of work and or love. But they feel really, really good about their connection that they share with you. Now, with all of that being said, um, Capricorn, it kind of looks like you're a tad bit closed off towards coming together with this person and building on your relationship with this person in particular. Um, a part of you may not fully trust this whole entire situation here between you and them because it kind of looks like currently at the moment, you rather kind of sit in this energy of being closed off towards this person than being open to the possibilities when it comes down to you and this person. Now, even though the, the desire to open up to this person is definitely there and open up to the relationship that you could have uh, with this person, you're choosing to kind of remain a little bit closed off uh, towards this person, to be totally honest. And when it comes down to your outcome alone, you are showing up as the Nine of Wands as well as the Emperor. And then we have Death. This whole situation that you currently find yourself in, Capricorn, it does kind of require you to get out of your comfort zone, okay? It does kind of require you to be a little bit open to the possibilities when it comes down to whoever it is that's trying to get close to you and connect with you and build on their relationship with you. I can tell that you really do want to step into this energy of getting close to this person and, and collaborating with this person and building on your relationship with this person in particular, but there's a lot of hesitation coming from you, um, Capricorn, and that could be you know, out of place, out of a place of, of fear of getting close to people and, and opening yourself up to people, mainly because of maybe things that you've experienced in previous relationships prior to this person. But if you want to essentially build on your relationship with this person in particular, um, you need to kind of step outside of your comfort zone. All right, Capricorn this weekend in order to embrace the connection that you currently share slash could have with this person. Is it going to be a little bit uncomfortable for you? Yes, it is. It totally is. But I feel like once you work through, you know, this energy of getting out of your comfort zone, you're going to start to feel more confident about yourself and your relationship with this person in particular. But you have to step outside of your comfort zone. You cannot continue to live in your comfort zone because it's going to keep you stuck. It's going to keep you stagnant. It's going to keep you in this energy of, well, I can't trust anybody. So everybody back the hell up, you know, it's going to continue to keep you stuck and stagnant. And if you honestly want to build on your relationship with this person in particular, you kind of have to step outside of your comfort zone and see what could possibly happen here between you and this person. I feel like once you do, you're going to feel more confident within yourself, but also within your relationship with this person in particular, because you do have somebody who's willing to work with you. You see what I'm saying? And you have someone here who wants to get to know you, who wants to spend time with you, who wants to build on their relationship with you, who sees happily ever after with you. So it kind of looks like, to be totally honest, the ball is in your court. This all depends on you. It is going to feel uncomfortable a tad bit, but you will work through it. You will overcome this. Like I said, you can't live in your comfort zone for the rest of your life. You'll never grow. You'll never expand. All right. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekend reading. Let's see what's going on between you and whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend. For Taurus, Sun Rising and Venus. Taurus, we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So far, so good. All right, we're gonna focus on you first, Taurus, and then we'll jump over to the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend and then I'll pull the outcome between the two of you. Let's focus on you first going on with Taurus for this weekend? We got the Nine of Wands. We got the Queen of Wands. And then we also have the King of Swords. Alright. What's going on with the person Taurus is connecting with or will be connecting with for this weekend? We have the Six of Pentacles. We also have Death. 
And then we have the Eight of Cups. All right. What's the outcome between Taurus and the person Taurus is connecting with or will be connecting with? We have the Seven of Swords. Okay. We also have the Five of Wands. And then we also have the Page of Pentacles. All right. Let's talk about it. Now, in reference to your overall energy, Taurus, for this weekend, it kind of looks like there is um, a massive disconnect that's happening here between you and another person. And I kind of feel like this massive disconnect that's happening here between you and this person is causing you to really worry about your relationship with this person in particular. Now, because the two of you are not showing up as a true pair, for me as a reader, I tend to kind of look at that as two people who are either currently at a distance from one another, currently not on speaking terms, but I feel like what's actually happening here is that things are essentially changing here between you and this person, and you are noticing the shift slash change happen between you and this person. It's really causing you to essentially worry that this relationship might be coming to an end here between you and them, especially because we have the Eight of Cups death uh, and the Six of Pentacles for this person. Currently at the moment, Taurus, when it comes down to the person that you're connecting with, it kind of looks like, again, there's just going to be a whole lot of distance happening here between you and this person for this weekend. But I do see this person eventually coming back around your way when they're ready. Okay, when they're ready. Because the energy of wanting to reconnect with you, the energy of wanting to... Um, interact with you is definitely there but i feel like when this person's ready to reconnect with you or interact with you all over again i see them extending themselves to you but for the outcome we do have the page of pentacles with the five of wands and then we also have the seven of swords currently at the moment i feel like this person is going to continue to kind of keep their distance from you slash avoid you because they're under this impression that if they were to extend themselves to you uh, right now, Taurus, they feel like it's just going to lead to a big fight slash argument. And that's something that this person wants to essentially avoid. As I mentioned, when this person feels ready to talk to you, when they feel ready to interact with you all over again, I do see them extending themselves to you. But as of right now, they don't essentially want to do that or extend themselves to you because they feel like it's going to lead to a fight slash argument. And that's not something that this person wants to experience with you. So I can see how worried you are when it comes down to your relationship with this person because a lot of you might be under this impression that yeah it's it's definitely over between me and this person that's it there's no coming back from this I don't necessarily feel like it's over to be totally honest it just kind of looks like you know there was a big fight slash argument that may have transpired here between you and this person and it caused this distance between you and this person but i feel like when this person's ready to talk they will make their move in your direction they just don't feel like right now is the time to extend themselves to you out of fear that it's just going to continue to lead to a fight slash argument slash disagreement between you and them and that's something that this person wants to essentially avoid so i can see that you're worried but I do see this person eventually extending themselves to you. They just don't feel like right now is, is the time to extend themselves to you because of this you know, theory that they have that if they do, it's just going to lead to a fight slash argument and they don't want to fight or even argue with you, okay? So I don't really see any sort of communication honestly happening here between you and this person whatsoever. But like I said, give it some time because I do see this person eventually extending themselves to you. It just won't be this weekend, all right? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.